Northern Ireland. Pamela Nash. Number six, Mr Speaker. Uh, Mr Speaker, with permission, I'll answer questions 6, 8 and 10 together. These are indeed timely questions because last week's figures show youth unemployment in Northern Ireland has fallen 3.3 percentage points over the year and is 175,000 lower than May 2010. The Government's long-term economic plan is promoting a sustainable economic recovery from the mess it inherited and is directly assisting young people into real jobs that have a future. Grouping is of 6, 8 and 9 rather than... Pamela Nash. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I do welcome those youth unemployment figures. However, Northern Ireland youth unemployment figures remain significantly more than the rest of the UK at 19.2 per cent. This has a, a big impact on those young, uh, those young people, but also on the security of Northern Ireland. Can I ask the Minister why has the government allowed this situation to persist, and what is this government going to do to stop it? Well, the matters to which you refer is, of course, primarily the responsibility uh, of the Northern Ireland Executive. But I have to observe that between May 1997 and May 2010, unemployment among young people in Northern Ireland rose by 35%. It's gone down by 3.3% in this year alone. 